Right, I'm going to stop there because uh, I want to leave it open, keep maximum light in here. I want to do the electrics, um, I want to get the sockets all wired up, or at least the cables in here, which means running conduit around the back side of this wall. And I want to do that while that's off, um, so I can run the cables easier if I've got any problems, although it's a very short distance to run. It's, it's just easier for me if the walls aren't complete. Um, once I've got the wiring done, I can sort out the electrics up there. I need to go up into that little space up there, but I need Christina to be here so she can haul the ladder so I don't fall off the ladder or I don't get trapped up there because it's very tight and I just don't want to take any risks. Um, so we'll get the electrics up there done and then everything can be closed up and get ready for mudding and filling and doing what we've got to do, getting it ready for painting. And once we get painting done, we can concentrate on putting flooring down um, go backwards, I'm going to build shelving first and the final thing will be the flooring going down and then we'll build the desk and make sure everything's hunky-dory. So that's the plan today. So as you can see this side is uh, open which means I can fiddle around and, and not do it, you know, you know. This box is where I can feed off wires so I don't have to keep running wires backwards and forwards. I run from the fuse box into this and then I can come off of here um, individual wires down to the sockets. It just makes life a lot easier. Quite a good system, I like it. what it looks like. Now I've just got to do the same with the others. place all I need to do is put the sockets on them once we finish in here so we're back here at the, the renovation has a few advance we have this door way open and as you can see our things were built before it's quite incredible this huge stones so we've got some supports both side of the, the ceiling to make sure that nothing comes down. Um, so we get in there, all the floor is leveled now. And um, yeah, so the floor is leveled in all house. So we can prepare it for the next step, which will be uh, putting the membrane and then the, the cement subfloor. The holes are ready for um, the plumbing. So as this is going to be bathroom, we've got the holes there and also here for the kitchen, we've got the hole ready to take the plumbing pipes out, the waste pipes out. So it's going quite fast. Uh, of course, this is the hard bit because it's hard labor, especially in houses like this. But we're definitely getting there. And um, next week will be 
another step forward. We have to work out what's next. So here we have the ensuite. So also the holes ready for the waist, which comes all the way down here. And now we're working on getting that slab down, which is proven to be quite hard work because it's got so much iron on it. But uh, slowly but surely, it's coming down. And that's it here in a, in a house. It seems like slow progress, but it seems like hard labor takes quite a bit of time. So um, we're quite happy how, how things are going. And um, yeah, tomorrow is another day and we'll be another step forward, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Bit, uh, not so much feeling like spring today. We've had a bit of rain and the temperatures drop quite a lot. But is he talking to me? No, yeah, he's talking to himself. Oh, he talks to himself. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now. Well, yeah. Going back to the house <coughs> and start or carry on with the electrics in the office. See if we can get some light in there and uh, try to finish something there even though Mr. Grosen is not feeling too great yeah you still got man flu got man flu um just uh, one other thing here is that uh oh, so we've, where we've dug out the holes for the waste pipes to come up there's a there's a pipe here that runs to a fossa over the wall there so we're gonna eventually bring the pipes out here and then try and locate try and locate the the mains pipe that runs along this to the to the process. yeah but we don't want to dig up the path just yet because we've got things to come in and out so we're going to do that um uh last uh, well not last but uh, yeah but once we advance and you have the subfloor because you don't want to be carrying the cement in. Yeah, we're going to have wheelbarrows coming up and down when we do start doing the um, subfloor. Yeah. So we, we don't want to have holes everywhere. Mainly. Anyway. Yeah. This is why you don't clean your car because when it rains, it rains mud and sand. Yeah. <laughs> it's an onward battle. Right, we're back. Had a few days off. Um, well, last week off actually, we were just feeling a bit groggy. Having all sorts of issues at the moment. Number one, just feeling rough as old boots. Christina was unwell and then she got better and then she's unwell again. I think she caught it back off me. But she's okay now. Um, still feeling a bit chesty and bunged up and horrible, but life goes on. Uh, but in the meantime, the weather has gone crazy here in the Algarve. Normally we're basking in 30 degrees at this time of year. And now it's, uh, yeah, peeing down with rain. But the problem is this door. This door has a weatherboard on the bottom of it, a, a, a rubber thing that stops the water coming in. But it's been so heavy, it's coming in under the door because just there, is a bit missing and I'm sure it's a bit gappy along there and it's bringing water into the room here it's tracking down here it's going down into this little section here which is dipped fortunately for me it's dipped because it hasn't hit the plasterboard it's gone under the plasterboard and then under the metal framework of the office uh, and come out over here and sensibly you always take the skirting board slightly off the floor for this eventuality i guess or not and the water's come here and now look we've got a big puddle which i've got to clear up and we are due to put some flooring down in here but i can't obviously do that because i need to make sure nothing leaks in here who 
would have thought this would leak in here. I was a little bit surprised when I came in. But um, it's an easy, relatively easy fix. Um, something I've just got to work on. But I need to select the rain stop before I do that. Uh, so now, for now, I'll just put some towels over the doors. Stop it coming in. Right, while we were out on our out and about and buying some bits and pieces, we bought a window. We were going to make a window, but time is of the essence. We need to get this done because we're really delayed. So we bought this window, and guess what? Yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've got to drop this two centimetres to get this window in here. As it is, it fits perfectly, but I've got to put the plasterboard on. So that will go in there. It's a sliding window, it means we can open it and shove it and whatever. Okay, so we've got blue skies finally. The rain has stopped, I think that's the end of it. Um, I think we've got some rain next week, or at the end of the week. But uh, for now, the sun's shining, temperature's gone up and it's lovely. So, Christina and I are gonna go over to the village house, not the village house, the uh, renovation project. We need to name that. Um, yeah, if you can think of a name to call this new project, let us know. And um, we're going to go over there and just check because we haven't been there for a week. Oh, it's spaghetti. Oh, what's it? Mm -hmm. They're eating my plants. Yeah. As Christina's... soon as the sun comes out. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she's got her it's lunch. It's been a while. <laughs> Get my lunch. Yeah. Well, that's not she... enough, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Let's do it. slight problem we've got water so we have as you know been having crazy rain and I'm not quite sure where this water well I do know where some of it has okay so what we did is we dug underneath to get the pipes out for the uh, waste pipes. So obviously these holes are filled up, but not enough for it to track into this area in here. And of course this one here as well. It doesn't look like it's filled up from this point and run in. Although there is a possibility. Uh, okay, what are the challenges? But the roof doesn't leak. So this is a nice site to come to. Yeah. Can bring the ducks in, it's a nice pond. So where are we? <laughs> Don't even know where to start. Maybe get some bucket of wood. Okay. It's gonna take a while. Oh. I can see Christina getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Maybe that's the better idea, though. <laughs> Maybe you want to fill it up again. Maybe you want to fill it up again. Job. I think it might be easier just do it with buckets. Right, today's plan is to go up there and sort out the wiring um, for the uh, electric, for the lights, sorry, and put the insulation up there and close that all up. Um, just waiting for Christina to come and then uh, we can, I can go up the ladder. Happy in your work? Yeah. <laughs> you can call this work. Yeah, I don't really like that. So this is where I'm going. So uh, let's see how we get on. Whose idea was this? Possibly not my greatest plan, uh, but hey ho, here we go. I need some more insulation. So, I've done the wiring, just getting this last bit of insulation up, and then we can close this up. So, darling, thank you very much. There we go. That was hot and tight. But it's done now. I've been putting that off, but fortunately, we're all done. Here's Linda. Your little peek of Linda. <laughs> Christina gives me all this healthy food. Blueberries, banana, and natural yogurt, unsweetened, and a little drizzle of honey. And then she gives me ginger shots, all sorts of stuff. And I still feel rough as old boots. <laughs> it's not working. While James is working um, with the electrics in the office, uh, I'm gonna start on the door. We found this one as like many things that we have stuck away that might come handy one day. This is the perfect door 
for the office. Ooh. So it's got glass which will let some natural light through and is not much to do to it. So I'm just going to clean it and sand it and put some varnish or polyurethane on it. And Ooh. we're ready to go with this. Here we go. What are we doing now? Uh, we're going to do something. Oh gosh, for for the community. So we have a team that's coming to do like a training for our, what to do when there is a fire in a village. So the camera sent a team, and James has been asked to be a marshal, so he can go around with them and know what the points are of meeting so it's always good to do something for for the community so that's what we're doing come on they're waiting i'm going with them you've done that door yet i'm ready for it are you no uh, yeah, a little way to go here. Yeah. Excellent, got the lights up. Bit of a mishap because I bought two packs of these lights, five in each, and they have different bulbs. So we're gonna have to change the bulbs. We've got warm white and bright white. So we'll have to decide which way we're gonna go with that. But um, it does now mean that we've got light in here. We can start just finishing off up there, getting the plasterboard, <coughs> excuse me, getting the plasterboard back up there and then uh, get this all mudded in and filled, sanded, uh, ready for the next stage. And in the meantime, Christina's working on the door out here. Let's have a look what she's doing. Oh, there we go. I'm packing up because... Uh, what do you mean packing up? It's like uh, only six o'clock. Yeah, but I've run out of paper. So, oh. Yeah, so I've done the other side. Excellent. And I've got this bit to do here, which I shall finish tomorrow. But it's come out quite nice, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a uh, nice hardwood door, so. Yeah, it's good. Excellent, good. So, tomorrow is another day, I guess. It certainly is. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, good. Okay, let's pack this. Thing. What do you say? Okay. okay, let's see, let's get on with it. Let's see how we're doing. Let's just pack it up. <laughs> well, do you want to have a look at the lights? Well, I've already told you that they were different colours. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. What do you mean you already told me they were different colours? Yeah, when I looked at it, you were saying, look, we've got light. And, uh, well, you, I've just made out that you haven't seen it. And you've just come in here so when you looked at it. Yeah, okay, that was a lie. She has a... Uh, I told you. She's already been in here, seen them. I was just trying to do dramatic effect of her going, well, that's goodness me, but uh, yeah, she can't fake it. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice, though. No, it? fake it, baby. Yeah. No, just go out there and come back in and just act as if you've seen it for the first time. Go for it. Here we go. Oh, my God. Look at the light. The different colours. Yeah. Do you see how she did that? Uh, you can never trust anything Christina does now you see on camera because she's a very good actress. I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> she 
is an excess. It, it is a good job, but we're going to change the, the power of the, um, the lights anyway, aren't you? We're going to get new bulbs. New bulbs, yeah. yeah. We were thinking of making it. It's, it's a little bit dull. It's not... I need it brighter in here. It's a bit... You need more aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum. Lumens, yes, we do indeed. Right, anyway, we're going to tidy up and then continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Very very messy, isn't it? There you go, Duncan. So the time has come for the draw. So uh, write in all your names, all your usernames, the at so and so, um, on a piece of paper. Christina's folding them equally, so there's no differential in uh, the size of the uh, paper. And then we'll shuffle them about and pull one out the hat and uh, let you know who the winner is. Sometimes life can be tough. Right, they're all gonna go. The bag is empty. <laughs> yeah. Most no like the hand. <laughs> Put the suspense music on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't get ideas. Yeah, good. Are you going to take it? Yeah, you can do the others. Nothing in my hands. <laughs> Pull your sleeves up. Pull my sleeves See up. See there, you cheat at cards. <laughs> no, oh, okay. okay, shuffle, 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 shuffle. It's coming. Well, don't pick out two, whatever you do. Only one. Make sure. Yeah, make sure. It's a white one. Okay, well, here's Moment the of truth. Oh, I can't even read that. Uh, yes, okay, here you go. We'll put this up on the screen, but uh, if that is you, uh, Pots C. Luji, uh, P O T S E L U J. So that's the winner. Let me just make sure you're in focus. So I can... right. There we go. If that's you. You have won a painting. So uh, that's the lucky winner. And um, if you could get in touch with us, so then we can take it from there and explain exactly what's going to happen next. Yeah, the, um, the uh, email is in the description of the video. I'll put it in the comment section and it's also in the channel description. But... You'll find our email. Just send it. Send us uh, an email, and uh, we shall take it from there. Cool. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. P O T S E L U J. Whoever you are, you are the winner. Well done. Congratulations. Out of eighty-four people, not bad. Not bad. Shall we keep this for next time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if they don't enter? Well, we better keep them just in case we don't hear from this Oh, yeah, person. that's a good point. Just in case, for any reason, we don't hear from you. Um, then we'll take we'll, another one. We'll leave those in there and we'll pull another one out another time, just in case. So okay. seal that up, put that in the safe. Yeah, good. Sorted. Well okay. I hope that was recorded. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
And with that, yeah. we shall... Oh, just one last thing. I uh, just want to thank everybody who um, has left us comments and uh, wished us well when we weren't feeling particularly brilliant. And I'd like to thank everybody who's actually sent us, um, or bought us a coffee, should I say. Um, there's too many names for me to remember, and I haven't actually, I've only just remembered it right now. But if you bought us a coffee, thank you very, very much. It's very generous of you, and we really do appreciate it. So uh, thanks very much. Thank you, and we shall see you next week. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao.